Uh, very good afternoon uh, to the gathering. Uh, myself, uh, Rakesh Teja Kunduru. I am a doctoral student at Tokyo Metropolitan University. And before be beginning, I would like to thank the Tokyo Metropolitan Government and the Tokyo Human Resource Fund Institute of Diplomacy for providing the assistance. So because of their assistance, I am here now. So, so, so I am just uh, dealing with a, a very uh, different topic. It is not like the cyclones or uh, winter snow, snowfall, something like that. So the Indian summer monsoon uh, regional climate uh, is studied a, a lot uh, over the South Asian region. But it is uncertain whether the, the, uh, the regional climate simulation or the global climate simulation, does it depends upon the convection representation or the grid resolution. So this is uh, my, uh, my investigation in this uh, uh, presentation. So this, this is the outline so which I will be going through. So let's see here. Uh, the basically, uh, this is uh, uh, related to the farming system ba based on the Food and Agriculture Organization of, Un uh, of uh, United Nations. So they have shown here that this region is basically uh, highly cultivated for rice and wheat. And you can see there is, this is the central India region where a, a, a lot of uh, mixed, mixed crops are grown, basically. And why I'm showing this figure? Because the Indian summer monsoon is very much linked with the agricultural system and also the GDP, the gross domestic product of the South Asian countries, basically all of the countries which I have shown here. So. So, 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 uh, because of that, it is very important to to see to have the op operational tracking and the forecasting of the monsoon. So now I I will just in introduce uh, uh, the up, up to the current status of the the GCM and RCM simulations and how they are uh, whether they are able to simulate or not. So, but this paper they have mentioned that there are some discrepancies in both of these. And the discrepancies can be put together in two different headings. So the representation of the orography and the, the missing physical process and the feedbacks, basically. So, so let's look how the representation of the orography influences. As you can see here, the topography is like blocks here. And, and if you go to the higher resolution, you can see the or orographic region is very, very finely uh, resolved. And what happens corresponding to that? So when we have any f very fine orographic uh, 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 representation in the models, so then we can see uh, this kind of transition of the, the development of the cloud systems, and we can see the orogenic rainfall. So this kind of transition is very pretty important in case of the Indian monsoon. You can see this is the oceans, these two areas, and you have land here. So the transition is very important, and that is how it, it it will interfere with the rainfall pattern over the land area. So, uh, so there are many, many studies, and they have discussed about this stuff. But they have put uh, uh, this is the latest uh, study, and they have mentioned that. But the diurnal cycle is very difficult to simulate, even at even if we uh, represent very high uh, resolution. So, if we look the missing process of the um, missing physical process, uh, we can find that basically the, the physical process parameterization, so it can be cumulus convection or the other parameterization schemes related to the microphysics. But here, if we look for the cumulus parameterization, we can find that there are several studies, and they have mentioned that there is some uh, problem with respect to the Indian summer monsoon rainfall bias at each respective resolution. Here you can see, uh, basically, this figure explains the north propagation of the Indian summer monsoon. And it is very directly related with the convection over the region. So that's why I have shown this. You can see that a different uh, uh, parameterization schemes uh, in the WRF model, it is showing very high bias, whereas this is the observations. So it is really uh, means uh, it, the simulation is not so good, and also very uh, in the very latest paper, they have mentioned that the ensemble of this can be very near to the observations. But I'm not sure whether it is good to make an ensemble or not. So my main objective is that because of those two discrepancies, there is errors in the model simulation 
with respect to diurnal rainfall variations. As a result, it will interfere with the process, different process in the land atmosphere and the ocean process. And as a result, uh, it will it, it will totally uh, make the entire simulation uncertain, and and the we, we cannot really depend uh, depend or rely on such kind of the the simulated rainfall or the temperature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So by considering this, so I have put down my objective. So in my objective, I'm using the diurnal cycle as a litmus test to check whether the Indian summer monsoon regional climate simulation. Uh, by using the WRF model is better or not. And, and, and with that, I would like to know uh, how the convection, representation of convection and uh, the topography, which one among this is playing a role. And then I will mention some, something about the convection of kind of simulation and their importance. And so the, another motivation is that, so there is no uh, very clear study related to the diurnal cycle climate simulation. And also the how the resolution and con, uh, the convective parameterization is uh, effective will affect the diurnal cycle and how the diurnal and it will impact the total rainfall is not is also well uh, st uh, studied and also so this part of uh, the study like the convection permitting is is not yet started for this region so so this will be the the first of the study maybe. Yeah. So yeah, this is my objective. So let's check uh, about the data sets. I have used the Indian Meteorological Department rainfall data sets for validation. And there are other uh, rainfall da data sets over here. But I haven't used the MIRA2 reanalysis because I use this for comparing the, the surface fluxes, diurnal variations. But I'm not showing here due to the lack of the time. So these are the two different methods I have used. So mean absolute scale error is very, very uh, sophisticated uh, uh, diagnosing technique where we can understand uh, how good is your simulation. And the second one is I have used the harmonics for diurnal cycle computation. So this is the model setup which I have used. Very importantly, I would like to mention these two parts. I have, done, have not done any spectral nudging and this is basically the continental scale simulation or the, this domain. And you can see the different regions, which I, I, I will be focusing in my later presentations. And importantly here, I have performed uh, three contrasting years, the flood year, drought year, and normal year. And I have taken the mean of that to have the robust uh, uh, contribution from each parameters which, I have, which I'm using in my analysis. And yeah. Very importantly, the initial and later boundary conditions I took from Iran Trim 1.5 and OISST. So let's look for the systematic biases which I have observed. Uh, so this is the Indian monsoon rainfall, or rainfall from the IMD and T Trim. You can see that over central India there is a uh, rainfall, uh, uh, means not so high, but around 10 to 8, 10, 10 mm per day. And the second one is over the Western Ghats, you can see the similar kind of the rainfall over here. Sorry, of the of here, and also the rainfall over the Bay of Bengal is also very high. So these are the uh, three main regions where the the uh, uh, rainfall basically get accumulates, and this is the region where the the rainfall doesn't ac ac accumulate much, and it is considered as the rain shadow area of the region. So if we check the model simulations, and if we check all, all over in all over the simulations with respect to the IMD, here this is the con means the parameterized simulations, and this is the off the means the convection permitting means I have switched off the cumulus scheme in these simulations. So you could very clearly see see, uh, see that as the resolution increases, you can see the uncertainty in the rainfall distribution. If if you can compare this with the Observations, but as if you check in the cumulus of of uh, of ex experiment, uh, you can see that the rainfall is. Uh, if you look the pattern, pattern is very closely uh, related with the observations, as you can see here. And if you go for the model rainfall biases, right here I have shown the bias basically over here. So, as as we go to the higher resolution, of course the bias is 
is getting reduced, but the, the reduction is not so high. But if you go for the convection of cases, you can see there is a lot of reduction in the biases. And if you check over the, these particular simulations over here, so you can see that almost all over the Indian region and the central Indian region, and this is the Ganges plain where the almost bias has reduced, and you can see the, the, the rainfall is much pretty near to the observations. And it, it, it says that, that uh, this simulation has some added value, and they have some capability to, to simulate the Indian summer monsoon. So if I put together the different experiments with respect to the resolution and the convection of here, like the mean absolute scalar on x-axis and the rainfall bias on the y-axis, so I, I could find that there are two different kind of clusters. So sorry. So two different kind of clusters here. Uh, this is corresponds to the convection uh, parameterized simulations, and here it is for the convection of simulations. You could you could find that the the mean absolute scalar error is very close, is is very less, and also the bias is very less. So it if the mean absolute error is very close to one, it means that the simulation is pretty good, and if it, if it is less than one. It is much better. You can say the simulation is, simulation is excellent. But here, in this case, the simulation is, is uh, better. And, and you can see here that the convection of and the high, high resolution together has a lot of added value and the more capability in reducing the bias related to the Indian summer monsoon. So what has caused this kind of uh, reduction in the bias? So we can see here that if, if we check the difference between th this kind of d d differences, convection on and off, we can find that there is a dipole kind of the uh, dry and wet, wet bias kind of uh, features over here. So this kind of features have arise due to a uh, very strong uh, low level jet bias in the convection, param sorry, in the parameter simulations whereas this bias has reduced in the convection of simulations. As a result, uh, the very strong uh, vertically integ integrated moisture transport over the, this region uh, is due to this, uh, there is a, a, a wet bias, very strong wet bias over here, and it has reduced here in, in case of the convection on Iran. Sorry, this is for convection off, OK? Uh, it, it, it has reduced in the convection off here, and you can see the difference between Convection on and off. So you can see that in the on, uh, in in the off, the most of the bias has reduced, and or the Bay of Bengal in the convection on, there are a lot of uh, 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 moisture flux. So due to this uh, moisture transport, very huge amount of moisture transport over the central plains, uh, we have very very high wet wet biases in most of the. Uh, convective, convective parameterized simulations. Whereas, if, if we check in the off, off cases, we can find that this bias has totally reduced, and we can find very systematic uh, systematic bias uh, pattern. Like uh, means almost there is a reduction in the uh, bias in these two particular experiments. So uh, this says that uh, uh, the convection parameterization has some kind of uh, uh, problem, so which actually contributing for this kind of bias, and as a result, we have very high wet bias and dry bias kind of contrasting features. So, what exactly contributed for this? For that, I have I'm, I have studied further the dynamical cycle. I have mentioned that I'm using this as a litmus test. So, basically, the dynamical cycle, uh, I have completed the first three. I have considered the first three harmonics. So, why I have considered first three harmonics? Because to have the complete diurnal cycle. If, if you just consider the first harmonic, you, you can see the heterogeneity in the diurnal phase here is not seen in the first harmonic. And as a result, the peak of the diurnal, I mean the diurnal peak amplitude is very less in the first harmonics. As a result, so I have considered the first three harmonics here. And um, so here, uh, this is the clockwise, uh, the hours, and from center to uh, the outer circuit shows the magnitude, and it is shown in the local solar time over the Indian region. So here, importantly, you can see over central India, um, you can have uh, afternoon or uh, evening rainfall. And similarly, over these uh, mountainous regions, uh, you can see early morning or night 
uh, rainfall patterns. And if, if, if you see over the Bay of Bengal, uh, you can see you have afternoon rainfall over the central Bay of Bengal. So this is the ba basically the observations for this period. So when we put together with respect to the simulations which I have performed, you can see very, uh, very clear uh, variations in the dynal pattern as we go from 6.2 off to 25 kilometer off, and, f oh, and 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 also in case of the convection on experiments. So we can find that here, or central India, it is rightly captured in in almost all of the cases. But here you can see there is more uh, noon and more noon, but very less uh, evening r rainfall or the convection on, even at the high resolution. So if we check over the Bay of Bengal, you can see that um, you can see that the afternoon rainfall peak is only seen in the convection of high resolution. And I mean, most in most of the high resolution, I mean, in most of the convection of simulations, but it is not seen in the convection on simulations. So th this difference is very important. Uh, for the movement of the convective systems uh, over the Bay of Bengal and, and also development of the low pressure over here and movement over the land area. And so if we check the, the diurnal cycle over the two different regions, basically the entire Indian region here, black area is the entire Indian area, and central red area is the central India. So you, you can see here that the diurnal phase and magnitude is pretty close to the observations. Here, this is a 6.25 cough, and it is pretty close to the observations. And these are the parameter simulations. You can see very high peak, and the magnitude, magnitude is pretty high. And you can have the only in the noon rainfall in, in all India. Whereas our central India is also, you can see the similar kind of the patterns. So it very it says that the it confirms that the realistic simulation of diurnal peak and magnitude in cough as compared to the con. Yes. So if we go further and look the further details or each, I mean, at uh, the, transect, the, the different transects, like here and this the transects, the, this vertical line corresponds to here. So here you can see this corresponds to the convection on, and here convection off. And these are pretty close to the observations, but not that much close. But the the amount of the the diurnal peak has reduced over here in in this case. But when you check uh, from west to east uh, transects like here, so you can find uh, like these transitions or the here uh, ocean to the land again land to the oceans has uh, pretty well simulated in case of the convection of or in in these regions. So if you check over the central India transect, this one. 20 degree north, you, you can see that all of the simulations have a pretty high uh, diurnal peak or this area, this area corresponds to or the Bay of Bengal. But the convection off with very high resolutions are very pretty close to the observations. So this again says that the realistic simulation of the diurnal magnitude in the cough experiments. So here I have tried to look uh, how the diurnal cycle pattern in the CMIP by AMIP are, uh, are observed. And here I have taken the last 10 years simulations. Uh, and last 10 years simulations, uh, th these are the composites. As we can see that the most of the, the uh, model simulations have the noon peak. And or the Bay of Bengal, yeah, yes, they are showing the, the noon and afternoon kind of the ra rainfall pattern. but. Uh, but this kind of uh, the exact simulation is not clearly seen in the uh, in the I mean the sim the kind of the simulation in the very high resolution 6.25 cough is not seen in any of the AMIP simulations. So if we try to look uh, here, uh, uh, yeah, if if we try to look the the probability distribution um, of uh, of the uh, diurnal peak and the magnitude, uh, we can clearly find the difference in the the phase of the cough sim sim simulations. And whereas in the AMIP, we can see the known rainfall; it is pretty clear here. And in the cough simulations, we can see it is pretty close. And this implies that the the, the high resolution model, with respect to the cough, has a much uh, prettier uh, added value. And 
it has more capability to the simulate or resolve the dynal cycle. So here, over the Bay of Bengal, you can see the the, the dynal peak propagation from uh, the early morning to the afternoon, or only in the 6.25 kilometer. But this is not seen in any of the simulations. Here, you can see only in the early morning peaks, and whereas in the most of the simulations, you can see the afternoon peaks. So uh, th th uh, uh, this is also one of the contrasting features. Uh, so here uh, you can see the the propagation of the dynal um, dynal cycle um, over the Bay of Bengal. Sorry, oh, over the Bay of Bengal, you can see that only in the convection of you can see uh, a southward propagation, but in the convection of you can only have uh, the northward propagation, which is not uh, in agreement with respect to the observations. And if if you check over the central India. Uh, if you check over the central India, uh, you can see that the similar kind of uh, propagation, you can see uh, the westward propagation over the central India. And, but as we go uh, from low resolution to high resolution, uh, the bias has reduced almost. And the representation is pretty much clear in the cough, very high resolution, and at the 25 kilometer resolution. So this actually uh, analysis uh, says that uh, uh, due to the better uh, representation of the diurnal cycle, uh, the total rainfall um, got simulated w pretty much well in the convection of 6.25 kilometer. So, and as a result, the in, in, so with this, uh, I would like to say that the in summer monsoon rainfall is uh, totally depend upon both the the way the convection is resolved and also uh, on the model uh, resolution. Yeah, thank you very much.